Uh, that stain in the sidewalk looks suspiciously like a chocolate Labrador. So back from San Francisco, it was cold and uh, awesome all at the same time. But uh, returned to some sad news today or yesterday. James Horner, composer of some tiny films, uh, you might remember Titanic or Braveheart or Aliens uh, and some newer stuff, which I can't recall, died in a plane crash yesterday piloting his own little airplane that just that just hurts me hurts me in all the wrong places even in San Francisco the drought is killing but it still doesn't make any damn sense to me it's like we're barbarians living back I don't know in the BC era when we still had to pray for rain from the sky humans are fully capable of desalinizing, filtering, and making fresh water for everyone, everywhere on the planet. Not that I'm saying we should give it all away, but I do believe it should be allowed and acceptable to desalinate on large, massive scales. Yes, there'll be some pollution. There will be some brinish, brackish water that has to be dealt with. But the answer is not conservation. The answer is to produce more stuff, more water, Right now we have a drought, not because of the weather, but because humanity has not taken seriously the fact that fresh water is only a small percentage of the water on the planet. I'm sure there are a lot of factors, but there has not been a lot of desalinization that's taken place over the last few decades. There's some, but it is few and far between. There should be no drought ever. Just like there's hardly ever a shortage of power, at least in America and most of the Western industrialized nations, there should be no drought ever. This is ridiculous. And now because people either lack the foresight or weren't allowed to build these plants or it's too much bureaucracy or it's too expensive, now we have a drought. Anyways, I guess what I'm saying is there should be no drought. There should be no reason for a drought. We should not be depending all upon water that falls from the sky like barbarians of the past, like archaic, uneducated, untechnologically advanced barbarians. So there, that's my rant. And I'm sticking to it. And speaking of drought, what the hell is with the drought of hope in Game of Thrones? That final episode just hurt my butt a lot. I mean, it was amazing! That show is amazing! Who doesn't like Game of Thrones? Even assholes like Game of Thrones! Everyone will die in this series. Everyone is going to die. Oh, you, you think Daenerys is going to be uh, the Queen of the Seven Realms? No, she's probably going to die. No, they're all going to die. Oh, maybe Jon Snow. Maybe he'll get resurrected at the end of, uh, beginning of Season 6. Maybe, but he's still probably going to die. And I don't know if I'm coming back for the next season. And I don't care about all those crazy, 
crazy problems about uh, violence against women in Game of Thrones or the rape of Sansa Stark or the burning of the, uh, of that, of the daughter, I forget her name now, a link below. Because that's just the realities of war. And so it's expected. And if you read any history at all, World War I, World War II, Roman, the invading military, and the individual soldiers responsible for that invasion, raped, pillaged, murdered, outside the scope of battle, they commit war crimes in every war. And so I don't think it's inappropriate to show these things in Game of Thrones. In fact, it's excellent storytelling because it's, it's, it rings true. But damn, I don't know if I can handle any more darkness, and I don't think I want to watch everybody die. That's just... Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to subscribe, check out my Instagram, and leave your comments below. Thanks.